Hello students and welcome to our Lazy 8's execution video. Before we jump into the cockpit, let's quickly discuss the objective of this maneuver and some key factors that we will be focusing on. The Lazy 8 is a maneuver that is designed to develop the proper coordination of flight controls across a wide range of air speeds and attitudes. It is the only standard flight training maneuver that, at no time, the flight control pressures are constant. They will be changing throughout the entire maneuver. In this maneuver execution video, we will not be covering detailed aerodynamics, maneuver diagrams, common student errors, or the ACS standards. This video is to simply explain and demonstrate the execution of the maneuver and will vary based on the aircraft you are flying. To see all the additional details we just mentioned in today's lessons full length, presentation, podcast, diagrams, flashcards, lesson quiz, and a whole bunch more, look up the Lazy Aids lesson on our website at wifi.cfi.com. Lastly, before we jump into the cockpit, there are a couple key factors that we need to cover regarding this maneuver. First, we are going to begin our flight in the practice area at a cruising altitude of 2,000 feet AGL as we want to make sure we accomplish this entire maneuver while staying above 1500 feet AGL. So that 2000 feet will make it so that we are safe. Next we'll perform our clearing turns to look outside the area uh, for traffic, make sure we're not getting anybody's way, nobody's getting in our way. We'll then go ahead and establish our entry airspeed, uh, an airspeed below VA. Today we're going to be using 100 knots for our airspeed. And for this maneuver we're going to need to select three outside visual reference points and bug our 180 degree exit heading if you have a heading bug on your airplane. The outside visual reference points should be selected at 45, 90, and 135 degrees from the entry heading. So like kitty corner, straight out your window, kitty corner behind you. Okay, 45, 90, and 135 degrees. And it'll make more sense when we show it to you in the airplane. Think of this maneuver as if you're quote, riding a half pipe in your airplane. You've seen how they ride half pipes, you know, with snowboards, skateboards, skis, whatever it may be. Think of your airplane riding a half pipe. That's essentially what this maneuver is, and it essentially mimics that type of feeling. In order to fly this half pipe, we're gonna break the maneuver into different sections. So we're gonna break it up by 45 degrees of the turn. For the first 45 degrees of the turn, after we enter the maneuver and we begin, the pilot will be increasing pitch and bank angles to approximately 15 each. So you're going to be pitching back and banking. We're going to start first, our first lazy eight to the left. So we're going to be pitching and banking to the left. Now, the pitch angle most likely should be increased faster than the bank angle. So I always tell my students or myself in my head when I'm doing this maneuver, pitch pitch bank you should almost be pitching up at a rate twice as fast as you're banking now in this maneuver everything's smooth so we're not doing anything super fast but we do want to be pitching faster than we're banking so we're going to be doing pitch pitch bank pitch pitch bank right for that first 45 degrees of turn we're increasing our pitch and our bank to 15 degrees each from 45 to 90 degrees of the turn so the second chunk of our turn the pilot will be decreasing the pitch back to level so we got it up to 15 and now it's coming back down to level right we're coming back down the half pipe but we're going to continue to increase our bank to 30 so at the end of the first turn we are at you know 15 at the end of the second section of our turn we're at 30. then from 90 to 135 degrees of the turn the pilot will continue decreasing the pitch to 15 degrees nose down we're coming down the half pipe and simultaneously decreasing the bank angle back to about 15. For the last section of the turn, we're going to be recovering. So this is the final turn of the maneuver and the pilot should be increasing the pitch angle of the airplane to return to level flight and continuing to decrease the bank angle to end wings level on the 180 degree point. This maneuver will finish with the pilot on the 180 degree reference heading and we should be at the exact same entry altitude and the same entry airspeed that we began the maneuver on. At which point he or she will then complete the lazy eight in the opposite direction. So after we do one to left, we'll immediately go ahead 
and do one to the right. Or if uh, your examiner or flight instructor just says return to you know cruise flight, then at this point you can return to cruise flight. Most of the time, the vast majority of the time, you'll do a lazy eight to the left and immediately into a lazy eight to the right. So we're gonna do it in both directions today. I know it's really hard to picture, but if you can picture, I mean, with all of those, you know, numbers and everything I was throwing out, it is kind of hard to get a mental picture in your head, but just try to imagine a half pipe. Okay, we're going to go out in our airplane, we're going to try to follow a half pipe, we're going to go up and down to the left, and then we're going to go up and down to the right, staying coordinated and just making everything nice and smooth and controlled. So, let's get out there and hit these lazy eights. All right, students, welcome out to our airplane. We're going to go ahead and do a pair of lazy eights here for you. Before we do that, I just kind of want to show you how we have our airplane set up, where we're at in the process, and pick out our reference points, and then we'll go ahead and jump into it. So, we're at our cruising altitude, we're at 2,000 feet AGL. Um, we've done our clearing turns, we've looked for traffic, we've set the airplane up for cruise. So we're basically ready at this point to just pick our three outside visual reference points from where we need one at 45 degrees. 90 degrees and 135 degrees will then bug our 180 degree heading so we know when to exit the maneuver and then we'll go ahead and do it. So hop in the cockpit here, just kind of showing you we're at our 2,000 feet. We'll go ahead and bug our 180 degree point and then I'm going to show you the three reference outside visual references that we picked. You can also see that we're 100, about 100 knots in our airspeed, which is right where we want it to be. And once we start this maneuver, there's no touching the power. So if you even want to do this maneuver with two hands, that's totally fine too. But you can't be adjusting your power as you do lazy eights. So our 45 degree point, you can kind of see it off our nose. There's a little, you know, little pond-ish right there, kind of in the hills. We're gonna use that as our 45 degree reference point. I'm gonna pop outside of the airplane and show you all the other ones. So yeah, kind of using right here is our 45. Our 90, we'll use this hill right out over here. You can see it's right off our wingtip. And then our 135 back behind us is gonna be this little cluster of islands. And our 180 will be pointing back at this little island outlet right behind us. So there's all three of our points now that we've got them picked kind of reset my camera here and I think we're ready to go beginning our turn remember lazy eights we're doing them nice and easy and lazy so pitch pitch bank pitch pitch bank for the first 45 degrees of our turn pitching and banking then we're gonna keep the bank going a little bit letting the nose start to come down and slice through the horizon begin our descent losing our altitude starting to walk out our bank bringing our nose back up rolling out on our heading and altitude right there to the left and then we can go straight into one to the right pitching pitching banking remember pitch pitch bank Looking outside, nose coming down, slicing through the horizon. We're doing coming down the half pipe here. We're going to start to then bring our nose up, rolling our bank out onto our heading. And there you go. There's one to the left, one to the right. Uh, we're back on the heading that we entered on. We're 2,000 feet-ish on our altitude, maybe just a touch high, and 100 knots on our airspeed. So there's a lazy eight to the left, then we immediately went into a lazy eight to the right. Uh, to see like the diagrams and everything and really understand the numbers, you can watch the, our knowledge video on wifi.cfi.com. However, this is really just more of a feel maneuver and feeling the flight control pressures understanding the flight characteristics of your airplane so getting a feel for the pitch pitch bank when the nose starts to come down 
coming down the half pipe, recovering, going in the opposite direction. One big mistake I notice with students doing lazy eights is they don't do them lazy. They do aggressive eights. Try to pitch too hard, try to bank too hard. They're very jerky with the controls. They're stopping at 15, 15 degrees pitch, 15 degrees bank. It's nothing jerky. So thanks for joining us on this lesson, guys, and we'll see you on our next one coming up soon.